Hi there, my name is Amy Murphy and I am the owner of Yoga Grow downtown Fredericton. I'm here at home to show you a few stretches that might work well for you at the office. This is part one of uh, office stretches, so I'll focus on the lower body today and I'll follow through with upper body on a later date. Should your low back be feeling stiff or sore while at your desk, it's good to just wiggle yourself forward on your chair and have your feet firmly planted, your feet right beneath the knees, the hips, so a good 90 degree angle. A very easy way to decompress your spine is to shove your hands into the tops of your thighs, get as straight as you can in your elbows, and then just lean your body up. Really appreciate the force down of your hands and the rise up of your ears, your head. You might get a few deep breaths like that, really notifying yourself of the new space from, from ribs to hips, new length in your spine. And then to help out with your low back, you'll add a little glute stretch here. So you can help pick up your right leg first, cross the ankle over the other bent leg. And just for a moment, to do much of the same thing, let both hands pile onto this front shin, push down so that your torso will lift up. We'll keep our hands in this particular grip and then add a little spinal wave, a little spinal rhythm to this. In me, I already feel a hip stretch on my right hip, but if I bend my legs and motion forward, that'll certainly increase it, or at least change it. The stretch might disperse itself differently throughout my body just because of this new angle. The opposite happens. You might think of more of a cat spine as you pull your belly in and suck yourself away from that front leg stretch. And find a little bit of rhythm like that the rocking of your torso, just really helpful, again, to move the stretch around within that right hip on which you are focusing. It's likely that most of the stretch will be felt when you are forward, so go ahead and keep yourself tipped into this figure four stretch, seated. Feel like your lower back is wide and your chest is wide here. Hips evenly planted to your best ability. Press down to rise up. Again, very easy concept. Add a twist to this. Step your right hand to the ankle of the front leg. Your left hand is going to walk behind you. It can, it can help lift you up, posture you into the twist. If it's there, this hand might walk all the way to the other edge of your chair and you keep moving from that leverage. You lift up and turn. And slowly find your way back through center. Return that footprint to the, to the ground. And then left side, your left leg crosses in that simple figure four shape. Experience that buoyancy in your spine. Push your hands down to bring your torso up. Your knee is very much peeling out. You're trying to establish even weight in your sit bones. Soften your elbows and tip yourself into the stretch. Straighten your elbows and lean yourself back and away from it. And then find that, find that little rhythm of moving your spine within and over top of your pelvic bowl that's being stretched. Really spreading these left toes will help intensify the stretch. And using weight in your hands, you stay tilted forward, hands press down, and you simply lean into the stretch. And push down to rise up, even sit in each sit bone. Your left hand crosses to your ankle, your right hand will be the one that walks beside you or a little bit behind you. As you take on this open twist, really pushing yourself away from your foot. Your eyes can be on the side wall or perhaps you look over the back shoulder. That's the case for the twist on either side. And you slowly bring the torso back through center. Plant your feet down and then you'll still use your chair but you'll come off of it. Hopefully you have enough room to do so. I'll step to my right 
and just use the chair for the tiniest bit of support. Left foot is planted, I'll bring my right knee very consciously to the floor and have a fairly 90 degree lunge pose. So again, left hand, left leg are closest to the, the chair that you're using for just easy support. Reach your right arm up. Your right arm is enabling you to lengthen your whole right body. So it's a real accessory in growing a longer right side, more space between your ribs, very much takes out the pattern that you might have while seated at your desk. You, you might tend to lean one way or another. This absolutely clarifies how long your right body is. And then you tip yourself over to your left. As far as your lunge goes, you're catting your sit bones, your butt is pulled down in a, in a good pelvic tilt that will leave you with some space in the front of your pelvis. This will likely be a pretty good right hip crease stretch for most bodies. You'll thank yourself for this. This right hip that's being stretched is basically in an anti-sitting position. So really good to promote moving your body absolutely opposite to a seated posture. Come up by squeezing your shoulder blades down and floating this right arm up. Then simply release. Find that you can help yourself up to standing. And then switch sides. I'll be stretching my back hip, my left one. So the right leg is the front leg. Right hand, right, right knee are closest to your chair. You set yourself up in your degree of lunge, and then you again really tilt your sit bones below you, very cat-like, very scooped. This enables the front of the left hip crease to open, and then the left arm really evaluates how much space you can get. You reach away from that knee that's on the floor, and then you tip yourself over to your right. It'll definitely be a hip crease stretch. In some bodies, it'll flow up to the abdomen, maybe the top arm. And then from the stability of pulling your shoulder blades down, that'll already bring you back to center. Let that be the case. Your hand helps you re return to center. Then you bring it down. And you hop yourself back up. And that is how to keep the hips and your low back happy from your desk so you don't have to go very far. I hope that that helps and stay tuned for the second portion of this that will include your chest and your neck. Thank you.